Welcome friends, it's Miss Gisa. Today's story takes place on the continent of Africa in a country named Uganda. Have you ever heard the story, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly? Well, today's story is a little similar to that, except it takes place in Africa. The story is called, I Know an Old Muse That Swallowed a Fly. It's written by Kathy Kruder and illustrated by John Mary Mukiza. And the collage and design are by Eric Kruder. Tell us again, Jaw Jaw, tell us again. That funny old muse, is it really true? A A banange. I know an old muse who swallowed a fly. I don't know why he swallowed a fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know an old muse who swallowed a lizard. It slid down inside and tickled his gizzard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the fly. I don't know why he swallowed the fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know an old muse who swallowed a crane. Swallowing that crane nearly drove him insane. He swallowed the crane to catch the lizard, swallowed the lizard to catch the fly. I don't know why he swallowed a fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know an old muse who swallowed a snake, a slimy one straight from the lake. He swallowed the snake to catch the crane, swallowed the crane to catch the lizard that slid down the inside and tickled his gizzard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the fly. I don't know why he swallowed a fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know an old muse who swallowed a lion, a big cat in a tree. You think I'm lying? He swallowed the lion to catch the snake, swallowed the snake to catch the crane, swallowed the crane to catch the lizard that slid down inside and tickled his gizzard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the fly. I don't know why he swallowed a fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know an old muse who swallowed a gorilla. I guess he thought it would taste like manila. He swallowed the gorilla to catch the lion, swallowed the lion to catch the snake, swallowed the snake to catch the crane, swallowed the crane to catch the lizard that slid down inside and tickled his gizzard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the fly. I don't know why he swallowed a fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know an old muse who swallowed a crocodile. It was sunning itself at the source of the Nile. He swallowed the croc to catch the gorilla, swallowed the gorilla to catch the lion, swallowed the lion to catch the snake, swallowed the snake to catch the crane, swallowed the crane to catch the lizard that slid down inside and tickled his gizzard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the fly. I don't know why he swallowed the fly. Perhaps he'll die. I know a muse who swallowed a horse, a river horse. The Greek name for river horse is hippopotamus. He's still alive and floating, of course. P.S. Human beings do not have gizzards. I know an old muse who swallowed a grasshopper. Now that could be true, as grasshoppers are delicious snack in Uganda. Just pull off the wings and add salt and fry. Have you ever eaten a grasshopper or any other insect for that matter? I haven't. If you look on the page, you'll see the continent of Africa. If you see the little green spot there, that is the country of Uganda. You can also find the Nile River. The Nile River is the longest in the world and starts in Uganda at Lake Victoria, which is Africa's largest lake. The elevation is 4,000 feet, and from there, the Nile travels northward about 4,130 miles to Egypt. It is one of the few rivers in the world that flows north. This story contains iconic Ugandan elements. All of the animals in the story, including the Nkoli cows, are found in Uganda. The traditional dress worn by Jaja is called a gomeshi, and the bunches of banange are called matuki, which is the traditional food. The equator runs through Uganda. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly is an old American folk poem. There are many versions retold. They always start with a fly and end with a horse, or water horse in this case, and the fate of the woman varies. 
On this page, you can see the map of Uganda. Maybe one day you'll visit. Now you can see all of the animals that we talked about in the story, except these are the real pictures of the animals, and they all live in Uganda. You can see the Nile crocodile, the mountain gorilla, the rock python, the lizard, the gray crowned crane, the common fly, the hippopotamus or water horse, and the climbing lion. Solve a problem when it is small before it gets worse. That's the moral of the story. Thanks for joining me on this adventure into Uganda. I hope you enjoyed the story. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss another episode.